Hello everyone. Today I am going to tell about degree coefficient value and zeros of a polynomial. For example, if you take 3x plus 5 and here the degree is the highest power of the variable. So here x is the variable and the power of x is 1. So the degree is highest power is 1. So 1 and coefficient of x square here there is no co no x square term. So here there is no coefficient of x square and it is uh, a linear polynomial because the degree is 1 so the degree is 1 polynomials are called linear polynomials so it is a linear polynomial and value of the polynomial is if x is equal to 1 if you replace x value variable value as 1 then 3 into 1 plus 5 that is equal to 8 so this is the value of the polynomial if x is equal to 1 then zeros of the polynomial if p of x is equal to 0 suppose uh, this polynomial is 0 then x value is called zero, 0 of this polynomial so uh, 3x plus 5 is equal to 0 then x is equal to minus 5 by 3 so this is the 0 of this polynomial next example is 5x square minus 3x minus 2 so here the variable is x and the highest power of this variable is 2 so degree is 2 and coefficient of x square is here the coefficient of x square is 5 so this is the coefficient of x square and it is the degree is 2 so it is a quadratic polynomial yes and value of the polynomial for example if x is equal to 1 then 5 into 1 square minus 3 into 1 minus 2 that is equal to 0 so this is the value of this polynomial and zeros of polynomial we can calculate by using the factorization method because it is a quadratic polynomial so uh, by splitting the middle term 5x square minus 3x you can write as minus 5x plus 2 x minus 2 is equal to 0 then 5x into x minus 1 plus 2 into x minus 1 is equal to 0 then x minus 1 into 5x plus 2 is equal to 0 therefore x minus 1 is equal to 0 or 5x plus 2 is equal to 0 therefore x is equal to 1 or x is equal to minus 2 by 5 so these are the zeros of this polynomial if p of x is equal to 0 this is next example x cube minus 2x square minus x plus 2 so here the variable is x and the highest power is 3 so here the degree is 3 and the coefficient of x square here is minus 2 this is the term minus 2 x square so coefficient of x square is minus 2 and the highest power here is 3 that is degree is 3 so it is a cubic polynomial and the value of this polynomial if x is equal to 1 then 1 cube minus 2 into 1 whole square minus 1 plus 2 that is equal to 0 so if the value of the polynomial is 0 then the x value is called 0 of the polynomial so here x is equal to 1 is the 0 of this polynomial so x minus 1 is a factor of this polynomial then you can find the other factors if you divide this polynomial with x minus 1 then you will get the quotient as x square minus x minus 2 if you again factorize x square minus x minus 2 then you will get the factors x minus 2 into x plus 1 so x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x plus 1 is equal to 0 therefore x is equal to 1 or x is equal to 2 or x is equal to minus 1 or zeros of this polynomial so 1 or 2 or minus 1 or zeros of this cube, cubic polynomial next one is x square minus 1 so here the variable x and the highest power is 2 so degree is equal to 2 and coefficient of x square here is 1 into x square so 1 and the degree is 2 so it is a quadratic polynomial and value of polynomial if x is equal to 1 is 0 so it is uh, x is equal to 1 is 0 of this polynomial because value is 0 so x is equal to 1 is 0 of this polynomial so x minus 1 is one of the factor so the remaining factor here is x plus 1 so x plus 1 into x minus 1 is equal to 0 x square minus 1 you can write as x plus 1 into x minus 1 so here the zeros of the polynomials of this uh, polynomial is x minus x is equal to minus 1 or x is equal to plus 1 so minus 1 1 are zeros of this polynomial now I am going to tell which are not polynomials we know that the polynomial variable degree should be a whole number if the power of the variable is fraction or negative integer or a radical then it is not a polynomial for example see these examples 5 x square minus 3 x plus 7 here the degree is 2 this is whole number so it is a polynomial 
and row 3 x square minus 5 x plus 1. Here the variable is x and the power of this variable is 2. It is a whole number. So it is also a polynomial. And next one is root of 3x minus 5x plus 1. Here it is not a polynomial because here root 3 into root x. So x to the power of 1 by 2 radical. So this one root root is there. So root 3 into root x. So x uh, power is 1 by 2. So it is not a polynomial. And next one is root 5 by x square plus 3. So this is equal to root 5 into x to the power of minus 2. So it is a the power is the degree is negative integer. So it is not a polynomial. And next one is y plus 2 by y. So here also 2 into y to the power of minus 1. The degree is minus 1 negative integer. So it is also not a polynomial. And see this example 3 by x to the power of minus 2 plus x. So this you can write as 3 into x square plus x. So here the power is whole number. The degree is whole number so it is a polynomial and see this example 5 to the power of x to the power of 5 into x to the power of 2 by 3 plus 7 so here power is 2 by 3 degree is 2 by 3 so it is not a polynomial now i am going to tell what are degrees of constant polynomial and zero polynomial degree of constant polynomial we know that constants are 3 5 7 etc these are the constants so these constants you can write as 3 into x to the power of 0 5 into x to the power of 0, 7 into x to the power of 0. Because x to the power of 0 value is 1, so you can write like this. So, degree of constant polynomial is equal to 0. Always a constant, degree of a constant polynomial is 0. And degree of a 0 polynomial, 0 polynomial is 0. So, 0 you can write as 0 into x to the power of 1 or 0 into x square or 0 into x cube or 0 into x to the power of 100. Any value you can write as power. So, here coefficients of all these uh, 0 polynomials are same that is 0. So, degree of 0 polynomial is not defined or undefined. Now, oh, please do this practice worksheet. And here are the answers.